driven to doing this. See, that is what I said. Their ideology is about Karl Marx. Mm -hmm. They are motivated because. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reactions each and every day. We also have a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can head there and uh subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out if there's any vlog that you want to see any prank any challenge let us know and we'll do it for you guys we also have a podcast called um diving in with fanny and jesse and we have some amazing uh conversations there so you guys can head there check out our conversations and just enjoy what we've put out so far you can find us on itunes spotify and this channel of course and just let us know what you want us to talk about or let us know what you think or just give your opinion on whatever we've already spoken about and we'll appreciate we also have a patreon account called funny and jesse you guys can go there and become members uh you can find us on facebook as funny and jesse you can find us on instagram as fun and funny and jesse and i also have my own personal things that i do you can follow my instagram say funny l and just enjoy the short poems that I post there. You can follow my blog, um, Blue on WordPress, and check out the stories that I post. I'm also going to be posting starting next month in honor. Um, I want to honor my birthday. I'll start posting on my new blog called Morning Coffee with Funny, so you guys can head there and become um, subscribe as well, so that you don't miss out when I start posting. And a big shout out to the people that have been uh, suggesting stuff, commenting, interacting with us, liking, sharing, and thank you for subscribing as well. We appreciate you guys so much. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. So, as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to Sadhguru on Prophet Muhammad. Times now, tight slap to leftists. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. When we say Islam, we talk about Muhammad. Muhammad said, whole earth is a mosque for me. Can you, talk, can you make a more inclusive statement than that? Please let the Muslims live by that. When we say Hindus, now they're talking about Ram. Rama is that kind of man, just to, out of his integrity, he gives up his uh, uh, kingdom. He's a coronated king, but he walks away into the forest. And his wife is stolen, terrible things are done. But when he kills his enemy who stole his wife and did terrible things to the people, he repents having killed him. So that is the man you are fighting for, don't forget. And for the leftist, let them remember all this conniving nonsense that they are doing everywhere. Even today they are continuing like this. I want to remind them, they are not progeny of Joseph Stalin or Mao Tung. They are supposed to represent Karl Marx who thought of an equitable society, a society without, uh, you know, disparities, a compassionate economy which will nurture every human being. This is what he represents. Please let all three remember this. Right now this fanning of uh, that, uh, you know, Hindu Muslims must fight, this whole thing is unfortunately not coming from Islamic community or largely from Hindu community. There are fringe elements on both sides, I'm not saying no. Hmm. But largely it is coming from left-leaning extremists. What is their interest in religion? They should not even be interested in religion. But they are always playing with this. I request all of them, please understand whom you represent. You represent Muhammad, you cannot do this. If you represent Ram, you cannot do this. If you represent Karl Marx, you cannot do this. So left-leaning extremists. Now, the Prime Minister has come up with a term to describe some of them. He says that uh, they have occupied a vast influence over the minds of this country because they are located very close to the center of power. I mean, you can call it the Latian zone, you can call it the Khan market uh, consensus, what have you. Uh, but do you believe these individuals have a motivated interest or are they just ideologically driven to doing this? See, that is what I said. Their ideology is about Karl Marx. Mm -hmm. They are motivated because, unfortunately, 
they have understood this. When Marx envisioned communism, he thought richest nations will go for communism because he believed out of our humanity we will become communist. But right now, they have understood only if there is poverty, there will be communism. To convert people into communism, you need endemic poverty in this nation. So they are working towards that. They must be defeated because this is not good for the country. The country is striving to progress. People are striving to fulfill their aspirations. And some people, their aspiration is in based in poverty as a capital. Very interesting, very eye-opening and interesting. Uh, Sadhguru, I want to ask you, that inevitably in a court case there will be one winner and loser. I'm telling you, yep. they're, they're... Yes. No, go ahead, go ahead. You were saying something. Go ahead. No, I'm telling you how, how far this goes means... How far this goes means, this is not just about temple and mosque. These same people are going about campaigning. If you plant lot of trees, it's dangerous for the country. How do you... <laughs> what do you say about that? <laughs> Very interesting. This was very interesting to watch, but then I would like to ask, for the person that, that suggested this, what is this exactly about? And this was suggested a very long time ago. What's all this about? What's... Bring me up to date. Otherwise, this was interesting to watch. Also, it's also good to look at this because I always say I like the way... Uh, Sad Guru talks about certain topics in life. Here we have Sad Guru not against the religion of uh, Islam. He's he always gives uh, what can I say general statements. He's not saying I'm against Islam. No, he's saying if you people know what you're following, then you will act accordingly. Islam is a, a religion of peace, so why not act peaceful or maybe you act peaceful. I don't know maybe if this is about two countries, I'm not sure the case. Otherwise, if we're going to speak in general terms, at the end of the day, we shouldn't be extremists. Extremists, extremists always take things to another level. They want, even if it means them doing something by force, they'll do that by force and achieve whatever they want to achieve by force, which shouldn't always be the way. If you're going to be I always say peace and unity is what we should use in this world. Once you're peaceful, when you're trying to conquer something, your result will come peacefully, whatever the case is. Otherwise, you guys bring me up to date with what this was all about and I'll really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.